Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another fun creative photography video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to capture images like this. We're going to use a glass of water and a couple of other components to get some really cool shots of water splashing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So to capture these shots, I use three components, one of them being this glass here. And then the next is the ice that we use to splash the water. In this case, I got fake ice, but real ice can be used. And then just to add a splash of color to the overall image, I decided to use a slice of a lemon. To have those components, I decided to take a few test shots, as you can see here, just to see how the images would turn out. Now, a couple of things I noticed. One was I was shooting too shallow. So the depth of field was way too shallow. We weren't getting a lot of the water splash in focus. So I rose my f-stop to about 5.6, and now we were able to get a little bit more in focus as far as the water splashes go. So one thing I noticed was a lot of the detail of the water was getting lost and that was simply because our background was too bright. There wasn't enough contrast. So what I did was I brought out a backdrop that would allow a little bit more contrast to the images and this ended up working really, really well. As you can see in this shot, there is a lot more contrast and now we're able to see way more detail in the water. Everything dialed in, I decided to bring in the lemon slice. And as you can see, I have the model ready here. She's gonna be holding the cup just to give some more leading lines to the photo. And I am going to take a burst of shots each time I drop this lemon into the cup. As you can see there, I kind of missed and I hit the rim so we didn't really get a splash there. But I continued and we got a couple of images just like this. Now one of the really cool things about this uh, trick is the fact that you can get different shots every single time. So it does make it quite interesting to continue to try and see if you can get a result that you like because you never really know what is going to be the outcome. Well, that is gonna wrap up this creative photography video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really does help the channel continue to grow. And down below will be a few links to some really cool contests we have going on over at viewbug.com that you guys can enter in to win some really cool prizes and potentially get exposure worldwide. So if that's something that sounds really cool to you, go ahead and click on the links down below to find out more info. With that said, I will see you all in the next video.